Hi everyone, I'm Rinsey and I'm one of the contributing editors over at Book Riot. Today I'm going to be doing a ready, set, hold for you guys. Uh, if you're new here, you haven't seen these before. Basically what I do is I highlight books that are coming out in the upcoming months. I'm specifically focusing on July. And so I highlight five big books that are coming out in that month so that you can put them on your hold list at your library now. So that way you'll be at the top of the hold list rather than the bottom of the hold list. Many people don't realize that libraries start cataloging the books that they're going to be getting like a couple of months in advance depending on the book and when they know it's coming out or when they know that they're going to be ordering it for their library. So a lot of times uh, your library will already have like new releases in the catalog and so you can put them on hold now and then by the time they come out you're one of the first people to be able to get it which is fantastic. So yeah I have five books that are coming out in July that I think you should put on your hold list now either because they sound really interesting and I feel like there's going to be a really long hold list or because the author is really well known so they'll probably be a decent sized hold list by the time the book comes out. So the first book I want to talk about is Made to Love by Alyssa Nutting. This book is coming out on July 4th. Um, Alyssa Nutting is the author of the book Tampa that was released a couple of years ago now. That book was all the buzz. A lot of people are talking about it because it was a really interesting book to be nice. I believe that book had to deal with like a teacher student relationship. I never read it because I'm easily squicked out. Um, I probably won't ever read a lesson nutting because I'm extremely squicked out because this one sounds just as weird as that one. I don't want to say weird but it's on that sort of like bonkers, bananas, disturbing possibly sort of side. Um, it follows a character who lives with her dad and her dad's like sex doll. That's all I really know about it. That's all I care to know about it. But <laughs> I no judgment if you're a fan of this stuff because I read some weird stuff too sometimes but not my jam. But I know that there are a lot of people who I don't want to say enjoyed those books but they're really intrigued by all the bananas sort of topic. So if you're into that you might be into this. Man that was a really awkward book to talk about. That made me really uncomfortable. <laughs> the next book is also coming out on July 4th and that is The Reason That You Are Alive by Matthew Quick. Matthew Quick is best well known for for writing the book Silver Linings Playbook which was obviously made into a movie with Jennifer Lawrence and Bradley Cooper. I couldn't remember his name for a minute. So in this one you are following this man who's in his 60s. He's a Vietnam vet. Um, he gets into a car accident and after the accident they while they're he's in the hospital you know making sure everything's okay uh, they realize he has a brain tumor. He has surgery to remove the tumor and apparently he can't stop saying this one person's name after the surgery and he eventually I think gets better and realizes that he's been saying the name of someone uh, from his Vietnam War days and so he's sort of on this journey to track him down. So yeah if you were a fan of Silver Linings Playbook I know a lot of people are fans of Matthew Quick. He's become obviously a very well-known author after the movie came out especially. Next I have two books that are both coming out on July 11th and I believe that both of these are debuts technically. Um, I will talk about that in a second. The first one is Final Girls by Riley Sager or Sager. I'm not exactly sure how to say this. This is the debut from this author but this is also a pseudonym so it might not be a debut technically uh, but this is already getting a lot of buzz. It's sort of being pitched as the big thriller for the summer. So in this story you are following this girl named Quincy who goes off on I believe it's like a sorority trip or something along those lines. She goes off with a group of girls and this horrific horror movie style massacre happens and she is the only one who survives the trip and she becomes part of this group called the Final Girls where there are a handful of girls who all have been in similar situations. They've gone off together with a group of people and they are the only ones who ended up surviving and so they sort of form this group to help each other out sort of like a therapy group along those lines. Years go by and then all of a sudden the girls from the final girls group start being killed and so it's this mystery thriller to figure out what the heck is going on here. It sounds really really interesting. I'm super intrigued by this premise. This is one that I already have hold on have on hold at the library and the fact that it's getting a lot of sort of marketing and buzz means that it's being pushed as one of the big thrillers of the summer. So again if you are a fan of mystery thrillers um, I have a feeling that once this one comes out it's going to start picking up a lot of momentum so you might as well put it on hold now so you're at the 
front of the list. The next one also comes out on July 11th and that is What We Lose by Zinzi Clemens. This is a debut literary fiction book and again this is another one that's sort of getting a lot of buzz specifically in the literary fiction community. It's sort of like the big lit fit release of this uh, month. In this book you are following this character named Thandi who uh, was born in the United States. Her mother was born in Johannesburg and so she finds herself sort of in between these two worlds uh, when her mother suddenly like passes away from cancer I believe. I think it's about Thandi sort of figuring out her identity, figuring out stuff about like her past and her mother's past and things like that and putting the pieces together and also dealing with the loss of a parent. Um, again this is one that I already have on hold because this sounds like literally up my alley and again it's getting a lot of buzz in the lit fit community so if you are someone who really likes literary fiction or your library in general is one that has like a significant amount of holds for literary fiction then this is definitely one to put on hold now. And the final book that I have for you guys is The Lying Game by Ruth Ware. This one comes out on July 25th. Uh, Ruth Ware was the author or is the author of The Woman in Cabin 10 which was a pretty big thriller release that came out I believe last year um, and so she already has another one coming out for this summer so if you were a fan of The Woman in Cabin 10 here's another one for you guys. So the synopsis for this one is pretty vague so I don't think I'm going to do a very good job of summarizing it but the way they talk about it in the synopsis is there is this woman walking on the beach with her dog when the dog runs into the water to get what looks like a stick but turns out it isn't a stick. Synopsis doesn't say what it is and then it switches over to talking about how there is a group of three friends who all get a text message from a fourth former friend possibly of this group saying I need you and then events unfold. I'm sure that this is loved vague on purpose so you guys won't know too much about it going into it but again if you're a fan of mystery thrillers or of Ruth Ware this one is coming out. So yeah those are all of the releases that I have for you guys. If you are excited or interested in any of these books or you've read them already definitely leave a comment down below uh, letting me and other people know what you guys thought of them or if there are any other releases coming out in July that you are super excited about definitely leave them down below obviously. I am one person just trying to comb through the new releases list uh, so I am definitely probably most likely missing something. Also if you really enjoy having sneak previews to new releases definitely check out Book Riot Insiders if you haven't already. I will link to the video where Amanda talks about Book Riot Insiders. It's basically a subscription service and one of the really great features that you get with it I believe at every level um, is the new releases index which is so extensive um, and it catalogs new releases going out like months in advance. You can favorite things or I believe like bookmark books that you're interested in. You can uh, search by specific genres so if you only read a specific type of genre or you're really interested in a specific genre uh, you can search like just fantasy books that are coming out or just mystery thrillers that are coming out or just you know comics that are coming out things like that. So yeah again check out that video for more information on it but it's really really fantastic and super handy. So yeah that's all I have for this week and I will see you guys next week. Bye!